In this video, we are going to explore more about goat farming. We will also show why goat farming is more profitable and why modern technology has helped farmers get maximum profits while reducing cost. Goat farming involves the raising and breeding of domestic goats. What is commercial goat farming? Commercial goat farming is a process of rearing goats for commercial production of milk, meat, leather, and sometimes for wool. The goat is a domesticated species of goat antelope typically kept as livestock. It was domesticated from the wild goat of Southwest Asia and Eastern Europe. The goat is a member of the animal family Bovidae and the tribe Caprini, meaning it is closely related to the sheep. There are over 300 distinct breeds of goat. It is one of the oldest domesticated species of animal, according to archaeological evidence that its earliest domestication occurred in Iran at 10,000 years ago. Goat herding is an ancient tradition that is still important in places like Egypt. Goats have been used for milk, meat, fur, and skins across much of the world. Milk from goats is often turned into goat cheese. Female goats are referred to as does or nannies, intact males are called billies, and juvenile goats of both sexes are called kids. Castrated males are called weathers. While the words hercene and caprine both refer to anything having a goat-like quality, hercene is used most often to emphasize the distinct smell of domestic goats. In 2011, there were more than 924 million goats living in the world, according to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization. Goats are among the earliest animals domesticated by humans. Neolithic farmers began to herd wild goats primarily for easy access to milk and meat, as well as to their dung, which was used as fuel, and their bones, hair and sinew were used for clothing, building, and tools. Studies of DNA evidence suggests 10,000 years ago as the domestication date. Historically, goat hide has been used for water and wine bottles in both traveling and transporting wine for sale. It has also been used to produce parchment. Goat milk is used for human consumption and to feed goat kids and other livestock. For human consumption, goat milk is used primarily in cheese production and is also consumed as milk, cultured milk products, ice cream, and butter. In the United States, goat milk and other dairy goat products are valued by a growing number of connoisseur consumers. Because of its unique nutritional and biochemical properties, goat milk is also increasingly used by people with cow milk allergies and gastrointestinal disorders. In rotary parlors, the goats are loaded one at a time onto the parlor, as the whole thing rotates in a circle. One milker stands near the entry to the parlor, and pre-dips the teats on the udder to help prevent bacteria from entering. The next milker puts the machine on the goat to begin milking. By the time the platform has completed almost a full rotation, the goat is done milking, and the unit will come off automatically. The last milker will post dip her teats to protect them before entering back into the pen. Once this process is done, the goat will back out of the parlor, and return to the barn. Rotary goats, as they are called in New Zealand, started in the 1980s, but are expensive compared to herringbone goat. There are four requirements for efficient dairy goat housing. First, the building should be adequately ventilated, and the walls and ceiling should be free from condensation. Second, the bedded area should be dry and clean. Third, feeders and watering devices must be well built and located, so that feed and water are not contaminated with animal waste. Ready access to good quality water is essential for milk production and herd health. Fourth, housing should be arranged to minimize the amount of labor and time required for maintaining a clean facility. In a rotary parlor, the goat stands on a circular raised platform, allowing the farmer to attach the milking machine from below. The platform rotates very slowly, allowing goats to enter and exit the platform at regular intervals. Ever since the first one was made in 1930, dairy rotary parlors have continued to rise in popularity and are now considered a common feature of modern farms. As an automatic cow milking machine, rotary parlors not only make the process highly efficient, but also negate the possibility of human error that could adversely affect production. The economies of scale afforded by dairy rotary parlors have allowed farms to increase in size. Imagine milking 2,000 cows at once with these machines, the time is cut down by more than 50%. The milking area should be separated from the stable area and have a non-porous floor, such as concrete, to make cleaning easy. The milking platform should be 15 to 18 inches higher than the floor to permit easy milking. Milk must be cooled immediately after milking and held at a temperature under 40 degrees Fahrenheit until processed or consumed. Cooling is critical to retain milk flavor and quality. Bacteria in warm milk begin to multiply quickly and cause milk quality to deteriorate. Cold water is more efficient than cold air for cooling milk. The refrigerator or cooler for small herds should accommodate a pan of water equal to the amount of milk in one or more milking buckets. A herd producing 10 or more gallons per day will need a water immersion cooler or a bulk tank cooler. To maintain milk production and good health, goats should be fed a diet balanced for energy, protein, minerals, and vitamins, based on requirements defined by the National Research Council. 
to reduce costs, forages such as hay, silage, and pasture should constitute most of the daily diet. Goats are efficient browsers and can select a high-quality diet from lower-quality forages, especially when consuming non-traditional pasture plants, e.g., weeds, shrubs. Available forages should be evaluated based on plant species and maturity, with the highest quality forages reserved for pregnant, lactating, and growing animals. The main marketing issue for prospective dairy goat producers is market entry for their product. There are few commercial processors to whom raw goat milk can be shipped, so many dairy goat producers build on farm processing plants to produce products such as pasteurized bottled milk, yogurt, ice cream, cheese, and kefir. Selling processed products directly on the farm or in the store does require additional management and marketing skills. However, profit margins tend to be higher per unit sold compared to selling to a commercial processor. It is against the law in most states, including, to sell raw milk or all milk products, unless it has been inspected by state milk inspectors. Some alternative uses for goat milk include creating health care products such as soap and lotion, or as an on-farm substitute for milk replacer in lamb, veal, and pig diets. To use goat milk as an alternative feed source requires the dairy goat producer to buy and market lambs, veal calves, or piglets. Experience in managing and marketing these other livestock is also required, but it allows for the use of goat milk without state inspection. Goats produce about 2% of the world's total annual milk supply. Some goats are bred specifically for milk. If the strong-smelling buck is not separated from the does, his scent will affect the milk. Goat milk naturally has small, well-emulsified fat globules, which means the cream remains suspended in the milk, instead of rising to the top, as in raw cow milk. Therefore, it does not need to be homogenized. Indeed, if the milk is to be used to make cheese, homogenization is not recommended, as this changes the structure of the milk, affecting the culture's ability to coagulate the milk and the final quality and yield of cheese. The taste of goat kid meat is similar to that of spring lamb meat. In fact, in the English-speaking islands of the Caribbean, and in some parts of Asia, particularly Bangladesh, Pakistan, and India, the word mutton is used to describe both goat and sheep meat. However, some compare the taste of goat meat to veal or venison, depending on the age and condition of the goat. Meat goats are farmed in all U.S. states, although most meat goat production occurs in the southeast. Texas is the primary producer of meat goats, representing 38% of U.S. production. The skin of goats is a valuable byproduct of goat farming. Up until 1849 all rolls of parliament were written upon parchment usually made from goat skin. Another popular use is for drum skins. Parchment is prepared by liming, in a solution of quick lime, to loosen the hair follicles. After several days in this bath, the hair can then be scraped off, and the undersurface of the skin scraped clean. After that the finished skins are sewn into a wooden frame to dry and shrink. Parchment is still available today, but imported skins can carry a small risk of harboring anthrax unless properly treated.